Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be displaying one of the main features in Operation Eastbjorn patch 1.2. And no, it is actually not the road strip you are currently seeing the Lansen take off from. In patch 1.2 we have introduced naval combat in the form of ships to be blown up by you. The ships, of course, are very reluctant to be blown up by you, and a fuss has their own defenses. Right now, we will see a flight of Lansens attack a naval group of Riga. The main target is a tanker. Its escort consists of missile destroyers and destroyers. As you can see here, we are currently en route to the target. Radar screen currently shows nothing, but that is because we have set it incorrectly. Here is our target. It contains ammunition vital to the Soviet war effort. It must be destroyed. Now that's the very easy way to do it. Outfitting your Lansen with the Robot 4 surface missile will increase your chances of success and your chances to return home. But it's not a not very fun way to engage a ship. While real pilots would use it to get their plane home safely, we will now attack one of the escorting destroyers. Our method? The old-fashioned way. This is an enemy destroyer. The model you see is a stand-in for the Riga-class destroyer, a very common Soviet vessel at the time. We now see it's trying to defend the convoy by launching a surface-to-air missile, an SA-1, a naval version. While this is not entirely realistic, it makes for fun gameplay, and was f first added. Now, we will target another one of the destroyers. As you can see, another missile is launched at us. But it's not a not very reliable weapon. So, it will not hit us. And that is very good, because the Lansen does not have any form of countermeasures. The amount of flak fire we have been taking has been very low, since our wingman has been drawing it off for us. While I'm sure it's unintentional on his part, I am trying to increase the casualties on the convoy by making him do another run with his robot 4. There is a little downside to this, however. All the amount of fire he has been taking uh, results in that he has ejected his robot 4. As fuss, we are to return home. Mission complete. Just a final note on the landings. The road strips will not be present in Operation Isbjorn, but they will be present in the next campaign when they started to be part of the Swedish Steril system. At any rate, uh, regardless of airfields, my landings tend to be rather suicidal, so I'm very happy I don't have any heavier ordnance on board, and that this is not a real airplane. So, thanks for me, and see you next time, and I hope you enjoy Operation Isbjorn.